Have you ever thought of yourself as a creator? Every single person, regardless of background, is a creator by definition. Your life evolved from your mother's egg and your father's sperm coming together to create life. And from that, we also inherited our own ability to create life. So the fact that we're just purely able to create life itself from our body means that we are the creator inside. And beyond that, every single thought that you have, every single action you take, every single emotion, every single word that is produced from you, who creates it? These things didn't just come out of thin air. These things came from somewhere and they came from you. They came from your body, they came from your heart, and they came from your mind. So in that essence too, you are the creator of your thoughts, actions, behaviors, words, everything in your life. So by that alone itself, along with the fact that you're able to create life, you as a living being, your essence, your, your being itself means that you are the creator. True creativity is not only about the arts, but it's 1000% about being able to proactively solve problems in my life with confidence using the power of my brain. Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome. Please consider subscribing to our channel, like this video and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the topic of creativity. To start the conversation of creativity, I first want to debunk the myth of creativity. A lot of people, when we say creativity, they think it only applies to the arts. So for example, if you describe someone as being creative, they're probably a very artsy person. Someone who can draw well, who can sing well, who can dance well, who can make stuff very well. Those are the kinds of people who are typically described as being creative. But I want to say that creativity, the true term of creativity and the way that we should expand our range of thinking of creativity goes beyond just the arts. Creativity by definition is the ability to create. And the ability to create is not just limited to the arts. Your life itself is a creation. You are a product of creation. Your mother's egg and your father's sperm came together and created your life. That act itself of these two energies coming together is also creation. So you are a direct product of creation. And whether we realize it or not, we are creating at every single moment, whether you consider yourself an artsy person or you say you're the most far removed from the arts as possible. Think about it. All of the actions that you take, all of the thoughts that you have, all of the emotions that you have, where did they come from? These things were created inside of your body, heart and mind. These thoughts, actions, and emotions didn't just come out of nowhere. They came from somewhere and they came from you. So like this, we're always in the act of creating whether we realize it or not. So creativity is not just limited to the arts. So I want to debunk that myth first and foremost that creativity is not synonymous only to artsy. Your health is your creation. Your happiness is your creation and your peace is also your creation too. You might be thinking that no, actually the environment is making me unhealthy. My genes are making me unhealthy. The environment is making me upset and sad and the environment is making you peaceful and other people are making you upset and peaceful too. You might be thinking this way and maybe on the outside, it appears to be that way too, but actually it was my choice that created with my information, how I interpret it, the situation or the person or the environment, how I perceive this thing, I create an environment inside of my body that invites health, that invites happiness and invites peace or the opposite. So I think a better way to think about creativity is the ability to solve problems. True creativity is the ability to use the power of my brain to fix that problem. 
if I have a problem with my health, if something is not functioning properly, I can use unique ways, unique methods, different modalities to be able to bring that health into my life. Life has a way of throwing problems at us at every single corner. And when we face these problems, we might feel overwhelmed. We might feel like, why me? Why again? There are two types of people in this world. One type of person is the person who gets stuck when life throws problems at him or her. So when they're faced with problems, they say, oh, not again, I don't know what to do. And they turn to experts and they just don't know how to navigate through that situation on their own. And the other type of person is the person that says, yes, this sucks. I don't wanna be here, but I'm gonna find a solution to get out. And from that simple desire to find a solution to get out, that's when your brain starts to activate to get you that health, to get you that happiness, to get you that peace that you want. So that's why I want to expand our common definition of creativity to being limited only to the arts. True creativity is not only about the arts, but it's 1000% about being able to proactively solve problems in my life with confidence using the power of my brain. Creativity comes from your brain. Creativity is the energy of your brain. It's the energy of your brain to navigate through your life, to create the kind of life that you want, in which you are the master rather than being the victim of your life rather than just accepting whatever life throws at you and says, okay, well, I guess this is what I'm gonna be and I guess this is how I'm gonna live and just cruising in a very passive way. It's about using the innate power of your brain to navigate through your problems, navigate through the ups and downs of life and by the end of it, knowing how to give yourself the perfect circumstance give yourself the perfect opportunities and create exactly what it is that you want in your life. Using the power of your brain to get what you want is true creativity. So what do you guys think about this new definition of creativity? In this context, can you think of yourself as a creator? Can you think of yourself as someone who can be a creative person? Maybe before when you only thought about this relating to the arts, you thought, Oh, since I have no talent in dancing or singing or writing or drawing, I am not an artsy person. This is not for me. I'm not creative. Creativity is beyond my reach. Maybe if you thought within the limiting definition of creativity, that was true for you. With this new definition of creativity, now you can totally see this as being possible in your life and totally within reach, even though you're not necessarily an artsy person. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below about this new definition of creativity that I just shared with you. If it excites you, if you agree with it, disagree with it, anything that you'd like, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in guys. Let's use the innate creativity inside of our brains to bring health, happiness, and peace into our lives. See you again in another video. Bye.